Hey everybody and welcome to Hack and Code. In today's video, I'm gonna show you uh, what is IP address and what is MAC address and how they work in the network. So let's get started. Suppose we have a network. So these are the routers of the network and these are the switches and these are the end devices which could be your laptop or your PC or even your mobile phone. Now IP address is an address which is assigned to every device which identifies every device and uh, it is used to communicate between two devices and IP address has two types first is static IP and second is dynamic IP now static IPs are the IPs uh, which assign to a device and which will not change after disconnecting the device or disconnecting the communication between the devices and the dynamic IPs are the IPs which is assigned to the uh, end devices while they are connecting to internet then the internet service provider or ISP will assign an IP uh, to the end device and whenever they disconnect to the internet then that particular IP will assign to some other user and when that user reconnect to internet then they will get a different IP so this is how dynamic IP work uh, now the question arises how why we need the dynamic IP uh, if we have a static IP so suppose we have 100 IPs to distribute between the users and users are 500 now if we use static IP allocation then we can allocate uh, 100 IPs between uh, 100 users now if the user which don't have IP want to communicate with the internet then they cannot uh, now if we use dynamic IP allocation then we can uh, alloc allocate the IP address to the user which are active at that moment and whenever they uh, went in uh, uh, offline then we can preempt or take that IP from those users and assign uh, those IPs to the other user uh, which wish to communicate so that's why uh, we are having uh, static and dynamic IPs now uh, suppose in this network uh, this computer is in USA and this computer which is PC2 is in India so uh, an email is sent by this PC so which will follow the path and which is uh, which is bound to that PC or that particular user now if uh, email is sent at that time the user is active so suppose email has the IP address of that uh, destination point and in between the path the destination computer goes offline and reconnect to internet again then the IP address of destination will change so the packet will lost uh, it will uh, either it will go to some other computer which is not recipient computer and or it will lost in between the path so that's why we need address which will not uh, which will never change which should be permanent so that in a, a packet can uh, have that address so that it can reach to the destination so that's why a MAC address come into the play now what is MAC address? MAC address is 48-bit address which is uniquely identify your device and which is permanent address of each device you cannot change it it is provided by your vendor and you can spoof it I did a video on MAC spoofing so you can go and watch and uh, how MAC address works so how MAC address are work within a LAN network so suppose this is a LAN network so uh, uh, a USA server or a uh, computer sent an email so email will go to this path and after comes to this router this will send that email to the uh, that switch and this switch has the uh, MAC addresses all the PCs which are connected to that switch in this case it is the uh, one PC but uh, they, there could be multiple PCs and in practical life there are multiple PCs so uh, this switch has the MAC address of each PC and this uh, switch will uh, map the MAC address of the packet and the uh, computer so whichever computer mapped the, that MAC address 
then the switch will forward to pa that packet to that computer so in that case packet will never lost so that's why we use MAC address so this is how we can understand IP address and MAC address and why we need MAC address if we have IP address so this is it for this video guys I hope this video is helpful for you if it is then give a thumbs up and feel free to leave comments in the comment section and thanks for watching